Well, now it's time for a critical look at our pastor's le sermon last Sunday. And here with tonight's lady, Miss T. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am really alarmed at the lies and deceit being spread by our pastor these days. Not again. In his last sermon, yes, and you should have been there, he said, and I quote, mm -mm. Do not let this goop of the law depart from your mouth. Medicate on it day and night. <laughs> Now I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, is our pastor advocating, advocating drug addiction? What is this medication that our beloved pastor is advocating that we scoff down day and night? Goop? What is goop? Is that a veiled reference to manna from heaven? As long as it ain't coke. Are we as New Testament Christians expected to cook up a batch of manna that only appeared in the desert for the Hebrews thousands of years ago? Or is this goop of the law really some confiscated drugs that dirty homeless junkies shoot up? <laughs> Are we supposed to shoot up too? Is that what our beloved pastor is trying to ram down our collective throats? Or are we supposed to go to the doctor and ask for a prescription from some miracle drug called goop? If we're not supposed to let this goop depart from our mouths, how is this miracle drug supposed to work and take effect? And even if the medicated the medication somehow takes effect, whatever happened to faith healing? What here says this our pastor is trying to force on our congregation? Just don't understand. I don't understand either. Miss T, I believe the quote was, do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. So meditate mean I gotta think about it. It ain't medicate. So there's nothing to shoot up or eat. Well, for some people. <laughs> okay, well then never mind. Thank you so much. <laughs>